Hey guys, Amy here. Welcome to Mystic. So you'll notice a new extension to your Scouts log where you can click Mystic and see all these different need player A, need player B. This is going to allow you to see all the cells that are visible in the new Mystic zone. And you can pick anything that starts with need player A. Then you just jump to the cell that is of interest to you. So click jump. Then it will load up the cell for you. Usually starts with just one tiny little cube that will then be grown by Misty and you. So you're going to go to the Start Playing menu, claim the cell, make a little Scouts Log entry, something fun or something serious that says that you've claimed the cell. Then again, click the Misty button and that will cause Misty to toggle on. So when you turn Misty on, she's going to start spawning new cubes and she's going to actually grow the neurons for you. Um, usually it grows on its own, but sometimes it gets stuck. So that's what we're showing you here. So when you go into the Mystic interface, you can see that the slices are very different than in eyewear. You can see the internal cellular structures like vesicles and mitochondria. The cubes are much bigger than eyewear. Um, and the meshes are a lot more complicated. So we're going to go in and find the extension of this branch. Zoom is your friend. Use that space bar because the branches in zebrafish are very very small and they can be extremely difficult to trace. So this is just like normal scything and reaping. Um, you just want to make sure that you get the branch either to the end or across the cube. And when you think you've gotten it all the way, do your final check. Um, and also in this interface there, you're probably noticing there's a little M right under explore mode. That's a little threshold slider, and as you toggle that up and down, it changes the size of the metrics, basically how bold uh, Misty is with making meshes. So when you're done reaping a cube, you hit reap, <laughs> then it will spawn the, the next cube directly adjacent to the one that you're currently working on. And that little cube means that it's spawning, as you probably know. This one, we checked it, and it was getting stuck, so you can go in, and we're going to reap this one as well. This is actually a pretty difficult cube. Um, because there's a little bit of a jump in it. Mapping, mapping, mapping. You might notice that there's a little bit of a speed up on this in the interest of time. We, we sped up the reconstruction here. So doing a little bit of a test extension to find where the branch goes after this first jump here. And then the second jump is gonna be even more difficult took the mind of a great game master helping me to find the mega jump after this orange looking piece. All right, got it locked and loaded. And again to the end of the branch and scrolling up a little more, realizing there's more to go. So as we're kind of going through adding this upper branch, what you should probably do is adjust the Misty threshold slider right here. It makes it so that you don't have to do so many clicks. The, it, it puts larger segments together. And so with a few clicks, you can add the same branch. But as Misty is more bold, she also makes more mistakes. So now we're going to read this cube and go onward. Here's a little time lapse of the cell growing. With that cube, we got past where Misty was stuck, and now she's going to start spawning all these cubes. This is a hyperlapse. I think it's about 10x speed up, but she still is pretty quick, which means that if a merger happens in overview and you're not there watching, trying to fix it, she will very quickly grow a very large merger, and the spawner will get backed up in the entire system. So hmm, this looks a little odd. It looks like we have very quickly out of nowhere grown a huge merger. So when that happens, turn Misty off so she won't keep spawning cubes from your merger. And then you gotta go in and find where it started from. So we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We finally get the cube and then we're going to go in and reap that baby away. What have we here? Looks like a little bit of a floater there. So, in iWire, if you were trying to remove this, you'd see that it's a part of that other segment and it actually couldn't be done without messing up the cube. But, thankfully, we are mystics and we have the Misty Threshold Slider. So, what we can do is 
you can't adjust that threshold slider until that piece is broken off from the other segments and then you can remove it. Double check and make sure that you've got everything correct and when you're okay, when you feel really confident, comfortable with that cube, reap it away. And we'll go back to the overview and we will watch as this very large merger that Misty grew is gonna just pop, disappear right away. So we got another little merger in here. So this is just a smaller one, but just to show you know, how you can do it. Um, going in, adjust that threshold slider so that the merger is a different segment than the branch that it was fused to. Then remove it, and then you can reap it. And once you've removed all the mergers, then you can go and turn Misty back on and she'll start spawning cubes again for you. So in this new data set where you're working with Misty and the cubes are a lot harder and you're doing only reaping, you may be wondering like how you're doing. Well, thankfully, HQ has released a new feature called Review Mode for you. And I'm going to show you how to access Review Mode. So go into Mystic, and if you were player A and you're done and someone else has done that cell, you can jump to that cell. You've got a new heat map down there that is called Scythed Over. Now, if you zoom in, you can see all these little light green sections. Those light green sections tell you when something has changed after you've reaped a cube. If you go in and hit R, or you toggle it in the UI that will be launched next week, you can, for the first time ever, see the changes that were made after you reaped a cube by either player B or Grim Reaper, whoever was the last, the, I guess, highest ranking person to do the cube. So I'm just showing you two example cubes where, look at that, missed an entire branch. This should help you guys because the zebrafish cells are very hard and we know up until this point there have not been, uh, there's not been good feedback on your reaping. So we're trying to get that to you guys. Lastly, very importantly, before you leave iWire, you must turn Misty off because she will keep spawning and she will slow down the whole system. With that, hope you guys enjoy it and we're so excited to map Zfish with you.